welcome back ladies and gentlemen to gamer the max and the start of a new series on the channel hearts of iron 4 kaiserreich middle africa not multiplayer middle africa so we will just have to choose the german empire here load in and then click middle africa uh, we're under carl Ritter at this point we have the 1936 budget which gives us industrial factor or factory donations plus 10 Military factory donations plus two, and weekly manpower plus 120. We have the mandate question, which uh, is daily political power cost plus 0.15, which means we actually lose plus uh, 1.5, uh, 0.15, I'm sorry, political power. And then we have the Belgium investment, uh, which gives us infrastructure, civilian factory, and railway speed construction uh, plus 10%. And then the Congo's daily compliance gain is 0.05% negative. Uh, our paternal autocrat, which we will probably be trying to go to the reformists. Uh, but let's jump on in. So we, uh, we had finished our American playthrough. And I wasn't really sure what else to do. So I opened it up. And the first comment was, could you play Middle Africa? And I was like, yeah, sure. Uh, I've wanted to anyway. It seems interesting. Hopefully with the uh, the colonial wars, if they do come about, I can take all of the Portuguese land, not just a little bit. Uh, so if you guys would like to read this, this is kind of what this is about. So we're going to continue on. Got three research slots, which is quite nice. Do the same research we always do. Let's see don't have a lot of places we can put factories uh i mean it, we've we've got a lot of places to put factories but it's all just one a lot of this territory we sometimes lose we'll build a couple of civilian factories there we're immediately negative on a lot of our supplies there uh we'll do mauser Remental, Deutsche Waffen and Musician Fabrikin, Opel. We won't be building the SPBZ first of uh, the light tanks. Uh, we can build uh, PF 109s. We'll do just agility less range. We'll do Bayer's Flugwissler. And for the uh, JU-87s, we'll do, let's see, ground attack. Hmm. Junkers, probably. Uh, so yeah, we immediately start with quite a bit of steel that we need. Let's get that steel at least do our national focus um the four-year plan change the popularity of paternal autocrats plus five percent we get one military factory we do have quite a few divisions put them all under one general make sure we get everybody we can increase the military budget we can decrease it, okay. All right, well, let's get started. We only have two choices, but there is no other political parties. There's only the RKA, uh, hardliners, and reformists. All right, the Mozambique situation. During the Veldtskrieg, the situation in Africa was truly paradoxical. The war in East Africa ended in a stalemate with the Entente occupying German East Africa and us occupying Mozambique. Both sides were recruited thousands of Africans from enemy territories as porters, armed guards, or soldiers. And after the war, we had to punish those who joined the Entente side. Now, many of those natives have been displaced across the Mozambique border, and there are rumors that the new extremist government in Portugal is planning to arm them against us. We must prepare. The Mozambique Wars is what it's called. Angolia. But yes, I hope to be able to actually beat Portugal and take all of it. The assassination of Alexander Krinsky, 
Let's see, we've got uh, George Von Krult, Krult as our field marshal. And then we get actually quite a few not bad looking generals. Hermann Meyer Rummingen. We've got Ernest Junger. Adolf von Duisburg. I'm probably butchering these names. This one down here is a mal oh, scavenger. Okay. We'll put uh, Herman in charge. To me, he's just a little bit better. Probably get rid of these militia units if I can. We'll actually force those militia units into a different field marshal. Or different general, my apologies. And... He's a jungle rat. Probably put him under this gentleman right here. And we can build some more of them. Hold off for right now. I, I don't uh, want to stay with the uh, hardliners. I do want to do the uh, new administration when possible. Um, I just feel like that's a better I feel like that's a better path, in my opinion. But I actually never really like looked into it. Annex the British colonies instead of allowing them to become. Then you can form your own government. Hmm. That would be cool. Don't get me wrong, that would be actually really cool. Actually, if it doesn't happen in the first episode, and it, it happens in the second episode, I might leave it up to you guys. Do we want to stick and... Uh, decide on becoming independent or do we want to stay with Germany and um, save the German Empire It'd be up to you guys Edward the eighth is crowned King of Great Britain Kornilov crashes or crushes the anti Sumakov revolt now you got to Boris Sumakov as leader of the Russian Republic national populace I'm really hoping that Germany will go with the uh, Black, White, and Red Coalition. They are immediately expanding their colonial budgets, which is very nice for us. Not very well for them, but... I will say, I, I don't see... Sometimes I don't see the AI use this part of the focus tree very often, but... They, they use like little bits and pieces of it, but they don't do a whole, whole lot. Uh, Black Monday, a massive breakdown has occurred yesterday on the Berlin Stock Exchange. The German economy is in tatters, and our economy is sure to follow. We need to cut a lot of our spending and look for ways to fix our ec uh, economy immediately. It could take many years to recover from this. Disastrous. Lose 10% stability. We get an economy in shambles, which grants us political power gain, negative 50%. Construction speed, negative 90%. And factory output, negative 90%. Modifies our colonial budget by industrial factory donations, negative eight. So that means we get two. Fifth Anglo-Afghani War. Yes, yeah, so now we've, we're two and two. Electoral gridlock in France. Well, since we are two and two, what is it? We got a lot of the old Mauser G98 basic equipment, but we'll keep that. We'll need as many guns as we can get. Because again, we are a company or a country a company. Well, technically, uh, no, uh, we are a country that has no cores. So none of our territory is cored. Support from the Hamat. We've been informed that the government in Berlin has stamped a significant increase in funding for the two main colonies, Middle Africa and East Asia. This includes greater financing for our economic ventures, state-sponsored construction, and financing for procurement of military equipment for colonial troops. 
As we are constantly strapped for resources, this is a crucial financial injection and has been lauded by our bureaucracy. We appreciate the support. Adds influx of investment, which grants us weekly manpower plus 150. Consumer good factors, factories factor negative 30%. Production efficiency count plus 10%. Factory output plus 10%. And we gain stabilization priority, which grants us weekly stability plus 0.5% for 1,080 days. So about three years. We appreciate the support. We should start to see our stability rise pretty steadily, which will be very nice. Austria with the Austrian Empire withdraws from Italy. That would probably be very fun too. Uh, once we finish Middle Africa, maybe do an Italy or a Austrian Empire playthrough or a Poland playthrough. I might uh, might put that up on the board. See what you guys think. Poland, Austria, or Italy. So the illusion of Queen Hegemony shatters. Do we have the ability? to some volunteers. Maybe not. Maybe. Uh, the DKAEB on the verge of bankruptcy funded or founded in the early 20th century the Deutsche Kaiserliche Abensinian Eisenbahn or the DKAEB is holding company that oversees a railway between Addis Ababa and Ethiopia and Djibouti after a series of German backed expansions the line is now used to transport ore from the Congo Basin to Djibouti the current economic downturn means that the ore is not being brought at the same rate as before, resulting in fewer transports for the DKAEB. As a result, the DKAEB is struggling financially, and some board members have approached the government in Dar es Salaam to sell their shares to the German government. We shall inform Berlin of this at once. There's Djibouti right there. So our interest is with the Nanjing click. We can send a total of one. So let's get this gentleman here. Under No, we'll send him with Yingu. who the Xing government will uh, back. The, uh, the colonial office in Berlin has complied with our request for a decision and they've decided to buy the shares being offered. They believe it is crucial to keep the railway running if we wish to maintain our links with Ethiopia and telling us the rail line will eventually be profitable in the long run. So be it, activates mission to save the DKAEB. Ethiopia gets event, Middle Africa takes control of the DKAEB, activates mission to save the railway. I'm not going to keep reading it because it does really, it is hard to read. <laughs> uh, we have completed the focus of strategic resource export and military reforms. So, strategic right here. So, I have to do the African breadbasket and strategic resource export. And then military reforms. Through the African breadbasket, this is two civilian factories. Our colony will start supplying Germany with domestic produce at all costs. The Shaun Queen Tango just declared. Who did you back? I wasn't even paying any attention. The Nanjing Click. Okay, that's who we wanted them to back. Because the Nanjing Click is the ones that support our interest in. China, so the Xing government also is supporting our interest in China. Yeah, they'll probably do placate the assembly, German bailout, partner with German manufacturing firms. Central Rada seizes power in White Ruthenia. Send troops to Nanjing. Hopefully, win the war. Uh, German East Asia should also send troops. Yeah, they did. Restoration of democracy in Australasia. They sent four because they do get uh, they do get more to send than us. 
Oh wow, these commander units are horrible. I should have looked at those to begin with, and uh, I didn't really even think about it, to be honest. Oswald Mosley. 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 He's like the chairman of the TUC. The fascist demigod. KMT and Indian Socialist overthrow Tibet, and Gaio seizes control of Ecuador. So the uh, non aligned party should take power in Ecuador instead of them being, yep, authoritarian democracy. Instead of doing the liberal takeover, it was Gaio stepped in. Pius the twelfth is elected as the new pope. Afghanistan is actually beating the Dominion of India right now. Ninth International Congress. And Queen should hopefully fall here relatively soon. And I, th I think they've got volunteers from, yeah, the Sheen government and um, the legation cities. We can secure them in the north. The Kenyatta affair, a rather unique case, has been sluggishly passed through our, or throughout our legal systems for years now. It has reached the highest court in the German state. Anti-colonial activist Yomo, or Yomo Kenyatta has brought a class action lawsuit against the former Middle African administration for its conduct during the 1925 pacification of Kenya. This case has become something of a political embarrassment as some of the plaintiffs are British settlers. It cannot be easily dismissed. They claim that the Schutztruppe harmed them. Uh, through policies of illegal land seizures and even abductions and tortures, all done with the knowledge of the Middle African administration and with legal basis. Uh, with the main parties involved are no longer part of our administration, commentators have noted that an award by the court could potentially set a precedent as to what the permissible extent of rule bending of our colonial administration is. We have nothing to fear, but throw everything we have at them just in case. Now we have nothing to fear on the verdict. And if we do... Shame on me. I have a sneaking suspicion that they moved all their troops off the border. The verdict, years of legal battle have come to an end early today with the litigation of Jomo Kenyatta ended at the highest court of Germany. The QQ lawyer has successfully defended his points and the court has conceded several individuals have been found liable for extra legal actions taken during the 1925 pacification of Kenya. The damage are done by no mean ruinous to anyone involved, but the ruin has opened the door to theoretically limitless cases. We will surely feel the repercussions of the decisions in regard to our current colonial governance. Uh, gain base war support negative two uh negative two point five percent but we gain base stability uh plus point five let's see how this could possibly affect us famines breaks out in Sichuan. get radios george von kraut impl uh, implicated in the trial or in trial um, a rather unpleasant side effect of the trial only came to light in its aftermath. While most of these names are responsible for the extra legal actions taken during the pacification of Kenya, have since retired or been transferred to the other far-flung corners of our German Empire. One of these involved was our still active Field Marshal, George von Kraut. This man is a veteran of the Weltkrieg and has proudly served the Middle African Administration ever since, ending up in the, an informal leadership position from his command post in Tabor, East Africa. 
does not make this question any easier. Some very pers uh, persistent critics of the administration have argued that Von Crouch should be removed from his post altogether, but that is likely to provoke an equivalent response from the other corner of the debate. Von Crouch is, after all, still widely respected war hero. He's getting on in years, and it should be possible to shield him from the consequences of his action, at least until he retires. Demote him to sweep him under the carpet, ask him to resign, or protect him from these charges. Well, I don't have any other field marshal. He's it. Yeah, he's it. And I, I doubt they'll give me another one, so we'll just protect him. Yeah, not much I could have done on that one. He's the only field marshal we have. <laughs> A complaint from Nairobi. In an unexpected turn of event, the Legislative Council of Kenya has lodged a complaint with the governor's office about our unjust shielding of Von Kraut. Demand that we either sack Von Kraut or pay a hefty settlement from directly from the state coffers. Some reaction was to be expected as some of the plaintiffs represented by Kenyatta were British citizens, but former the protectionists actually dare to take action against Germany is unprecedented and likely a buff. So we have a chat. Kenya's demands. After a thorough discussion of the problem at hand and why dismissal of Ankara was politically unfeasible, to which the head of the Kenyan delegation, the emblematic Ewart Evert Scott the Grogan, seemed very sympathetic. Altern uh, alternative means of settling the matter were discussed at length over tea. While the British are so fond of this plonk, remains to be seen. The meeting ended on a reasonable, am uh, amicable note. Given the circumstances, but the Kenyan delegation remained firm in their demand for compensation. We'll pay him. Kurt von Schleicher is appointed the Reich's Chancellor. We managed to pretty much take all of um, Chen Queen Tiangao's army and get them uh, captured. Surrounded and destroyed. Canada has made peace with Afghanistan. We'll take the capital there. Or well, we might take the capital there. They might take the capital. I took the capital. There you go. African bread basket. Let's do the strategic resources exports. And what's going on with you, Ethiopia? What was they? What were they supposed to be doing? Uh, Southern Railway expansion and uh, uh, military reforms. Right here. All right. So they have to do that one, and then military reforms. Makes sense. I'm gonna most definitely have to change up these infantry templates because they are pretty rough. But we also don't have enough artillery to change them when I want them to be changed. So, I'll try to knock out and Queen. Or Ancient. So, of course, more troops to the south to fight the communists. They have the full support, they're pretty strong. Okay, 
basic machine tools to disperse. Okay, well, yeah, I, I've always liked. I used to, when I first started playing Hearts of Iron, I always would do um, the concentrated industry, but really, disperse is, is the better of, of all of them. Attack the capital. Manuel Carlos assumes full control in Argentina. Cut right there. Cut right there. Ooh, and I would like to do another China playthrough where we play as the KM, uh, the, uh, KMT, I think is what they're called. Not the communist KMT, but the, uh, yeah, the Kuomintang government out of, uh, the Yunnan clique. That would be a lot of fun. Save the DK AEB. Button them with the strategic resources. Well, they get point zero Ooh. Democratic Coalition in Algiers. I get absolutely nothing when it comes to political power gain. Should have thought of that before I went negative. Hey, he did get the medal. Now their capital is Guangzhou. So that's good. And then we will do the military reforms. We can start doing steel, chromium, and tungsten, oil, and rubber. That'll take excavation two, three, and four. Okay. And manpower. Research that going. Let's see international market. Who's got stuff on the international market? Uh, it's just one click selling some relatively bad rifles. Estimation one, so we can get uh, the rubber, which would be nice. I mean, rubber is always nice to have. And yeah, the Nanjing click won that hands down. is under martial law. Wonder if Riga will stand or the Baltic state, my apologies. Uh, they did the manpower. I would say Poland would be really fun though. Socialist strength in the monarchy. Fall of the Kingdom of Finland. Carl Gustav Mannerheim. So they went with yeah, Mannerheim's extension. Instead of the old order. Okay. It should be done in China pretty soon.
Our unit got encircled. Well, I was trying to do the encirclement and they encircled me. Creation of the international avant-garde. Reform, so we're good now. Um, do crash uh, cash crop exports, protect endangered species, early mobilization. Let's get that political power. Film Song Karam's coup in Siam. Probably butchered his name. Actually, there's no probably about it. I must definitely butchered his name. Dublin Olympics. Zoom Sino German cooperation, and they're doing the fiscal austerity budget. Machine Gewehr. Chaos take over Mongolia. The failed army coup in Tokyo. Our forces have returned home. So, what? Empire of Japan, social conservatives. Okay. Police shooting in Lusaka. Makonde, a Makonde tribesman was shot, or, or has shot one of our police officers in Lusaka. The city is still in shock, and the perpetrator, along with many supporters, is now being held for investigation by local police. The leading theory is that he acquired the weapon from across the border in Portugal's colonies. Terrible. We uh, gain basically negative 2% and adds border rage, which grants weekly stability negative 0.2%. Oh, yeah, I see where we're going with this, Portugal. Huh? Let's put my actual army here. Put the few militia units I have over here. I need you all to train because you're green. Edit you all. Hmm. Probably don't have enough support equipment. Nope, and we don't have enough towed artillery. Well, let's start working on that. Artillery, support equipment. And we need to trade for some...
steel and some tungsten. Ethiopia hasn't done their part. So there's the protected endangered species. When we moved into British Kenya in 1925, the British hold on the territory was dangerously weak after five years of war. In the same year, British strikes con con coincided with a series of protests by the natives in the British East Africa. Continued exper or expropriation of the most productive land by British settlers around the Central Highlands has driven the Kikyu to organize themselves in order to collectively bargain with the Kenyan administration. With the continued hardline stance of the Kenyan Legislative Council, their pleas have fallen on deaf ears, leading the organization to seek other avenues to achieve their goals. Their radicalization seems to have been increasing rapidly, with clashes between them and the Anglo security forces occurring on the daily. The Kenyan administration has asked us to prepare to assist them if the situation escalates any further. Can't they deal with it themselves? Gain based stability negative 3%. Probably won't seize theirs. A second cultural comp. No, I'd like to get all those military factories though. Start supplying Germany with domestic products at all costs. That support renovations. cash crop exports well I lied ready for the inevitable bring us from civilian mobilization or civilian economy to partial mobilization or early mobilization production there's the excavation we needed Research military police. Yeah. Be ready for the inevitable. Radicals win the Serbian elections. A pragmatic Serbia for a pragmatic ego. To the rubber plant, uh, plantations expansion. All right, the DKAEB railroad reports profits. The end of the third quarter was not generally good for Middle Africa. The lack of an economic remedy to the ongoing recession is hitting the colony as a whole hard. As a whole hard, however, the DKAEB has reported that the volume of military and trade cars being charged by the railroad has gone up since the first quarter, and it seems that the investors are confident in the railroad once again. Uh, Governor Carl Ritter's plan has paid off. Our export link is secured, gain uh, plus 50 political power, plus 5% base stability, and German Empire gets the DKEB stays afloat. Sweet. So they did their military focus. Or not military focus, their uh, military reforms. Take 169 more days to get the rubber plantations working. Uh, anniversary of Mahaya. Mahaya. Today, the anniversary of the Battle of Mahaya, the most decisive battle of the East Africa campaign, and a battle of the king's African rifles were encircled and surrounded by the armors, armies of Paul von Leto von Buck from the south and east and Kurt Valls from the north and west. The British lost nearly 4,000 men in the operation to a loss of less than 200 German Askari. The battle paved the way to our invasion and conquest of Mozambique in 1918. Since 1922, it has been a state holiday in Middle Africa and has been celebrated throughout the colony, but especially in Dar es Salaam, with parades and military drills as it reminds every citizen and subject of our need and capacity for military excellence. Uh, Hayas Safari gained base war support plus 2% and army experience plus 5%. Train. Need a lot more.
more support equipment. And they're selling a bunch of it. I can't afford it. Romania joins the Belgrade pack. Greece joins the Belgrade pack. How did I know Greece was going to do that? I could play as Bulgaria. That would be fun too. Play as Bulgaria, do the royal dictatorship. Have to do the uh, trade agreement with uh, the Ottomans. Mal sees power. Jack Reed is elected president of the United States. The syndicalist leadership. Tall. Mechanical research. Soft technical reliability for our rifles. Schleichler passes the enabling act, so uh, the Schleichler cabinet will stay in power. So we won't get the black, white, and red coalition. The NI wins the Italian elections. So it's a national populist artillery, or artillery, Italy. Is the Spanish Civil War sparked? Do the first Leopold Legion. Maybe. Gandhi takes power in the Varadia Commune. I think that was a new one. I don't think we've seen that one before. Mohandas Kamashan Gandhi. Attack fast when this occurs. The Lingwan click declared war on the Lingwan click. Getting ready for the inevitable. Let's get those three military factories. The Yunnan click falls in the Civil War. Democratic victory in Brazil. I know I clicked on that really fast. Ohio, Wyo, Wyo, another police officer has been shot, another policeman this time from Longue has been shot by a radical local member of the Mokande tribe. Because of this radicalization, the source of his weapons are still under investigation, but it's possible they retained them from Portugal. This is an outrage, negative 3% stability. You're playing with fire. We're going to get a couple of these militia units because I can't afford the support equipment or the artillery for the actual units. Chief of the Army, First Defensive Generals, wow, we'll have to do the Railway Magnet, Hetman Skorpanensky flees Ukraine, so Germany did not support them, now it's the Ukrainian People's Republic. 
Social Democrats. Farmers resist our policies. Our policy of, of incur, uh, encouraging the cultivation of cheap staples for export to Germany at below market prices have created unrest with both native farmers and white planters, given their rare common cause against our administration. Send in the troopers, which gains a space stability negative 10%. Nice. Military police. As, the, as we enter 1937, we face a difficult choice. Our economy wasn't strong to begin with, and the recession wiped out what manufacturing potential we had for most of last year. Going forward, we'll have to decide whether to focus on military production or revert our limited resources to repairing the civilian economy instead. We can do replace a, a economy in shambles with a uh, two-year military focus, which puts us at uh, plus 50% political power gain, plus 40 construction speed, plus 75% factory output, military don factory donations plus six, or uh, plus 50 political power, 50% political power, Gain construction speed plus seventy five factory output plus forty percent and industrial factor industrial factory donations. Oh, let's do the military. Focus on military build up. Cause we will most definitely probably be at war here relatively soon against Portugal. And we need to be ready for that. First industries two. Nationalist coup, the fall of Madrid and the nationalist coup in Bolivia. Naval maneuvers, the old guard. Our request for military assets was accepted by the Ukrainian People's Republic and they joined the Austrian faction. Huh. The uh, Danu Ardrabund. Was not expecting that. But okay. Uh, technically, need more steel, but these militia guys are built really, really quickly, or trained really, really quickly, because they're not that great. Serbia declared war on Bulgaria. Uh, let's see. Try to get our production up on those. Can't do anything about the aluminium. Hopefully get these new military factories going. But yeah, when we finish uh, Middle Africa, we'll see about maybe playing as Austria or Poland or Bulgaria. What do we need for that? You have to be paternal autocracy. Let's do let's attract Belgian investors. Get some convoys being built at military factories. Uh, 
do need a lot of steel. Hopefully with this uh, Attract Belgium Investments we can get enough steel going because then we can do Belgium Resource Companies which gives us even more and then it gives us a, a, a research slot. Let's see. Germany sent troops to Spain. I probably should send troops to Spain, but I'm not going to just yet. You all need to aim for Lorenzo Marquis. There's anything quick erupts into war. Let's see. I don't have a navy. Probably because. I think that used to be it. There's the giant German East Asian Navy. Who is this time? Oh, Spain. In war artillery. Let's see. Cars. Uh, I think so. Armor defense. Better armor, less speed. Yeah, because I'm just going to be having them as a reconnaissance asset. Soft attack, hard attack, air attack for anti air. Let's do the production efficiency gain. A third police officer has been shot. Tragedy struck Der S. Salam for the third time. A police officer has been shot dead this time by a member of the Mokande tribe. The Der S. Salam police are now searching for the killer and the cause of the attack. Portuguese involvement is suspected. Surely this cannot continue. Game based stability negative 4%. Yeah, you're right. It's not going to continue. Tired of your stuff. Don't have to train no more. Try to save up that support equipment. Save up our convoys. And then go kick Portugal's teeth in. East Turkestan. They done the... Uh, National Austerity Council. They do protectors of the Balkans. I'm curious though how you get to become paternal autocrats. Hmm. Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud for the next time. Weapons against the underground. Production efficiency growth, research speed. Yeah, I like that. Finally got done with that rubber. So now we have 12 rubber. And the second American Civil War kicked off. Let's see who has the most territories. The Union States does. Yeah, and it's not always the best, as you've seen on our playthrough. There's the attractive Belgian investments. And do it again so we can get more. Zedu secures power in Yunnan. Fall of New York City. 
then they immediately got cut off, so I don't know how good that was for them. Nizhalan land plantation burnt down. A cashew plantation in Nizhalan has been burnt down by bandits operating across the Portuguese border. They've taken as much of the recently harvested crops as they could, burned the rest, and fled back to the Portuguese Mozambique. Uh, something must be done about this. Game based stability negative five percent. Nice land the civilian factories receive point seven five percent levels of damage. I can only send one volunteer. It's best that I just hold off on sending volunteers because I need to have again as many troops as possible for when it comes down to knocking out Portugal. Turkish thing, mechanical computing. Anti tank. Hawaii joins the Reichs back. Serbia capitulates. Oh wow, really? I like how I said it and then I was shocked. Oh, it's Albania is in the war. That Albania being in the war on, on the side of Bulgaria is always a big, big boon for Bulgaria. Do you have the non-aggression pact? Yeah, they do. So uh, the Ottomans won't join the war against them either. Bucharest is under threat. Uh, the Panama Canal crisis. So Panama joins the Entente. Oh, so they didn't give uh, Canada. Okay. Sometimes Canada will just take the Panama Canal. But it looks like uh, they just straight up got it. Uh, the Commune of France is preparing war against us. Already? Feels pretty early for that. Cynicism spreads to the Philippines. Don't worry about that. Japan will take care of the Philippines. Troopers are ready. 10th International Congress. We've got three civilian factories there. Let's see. Cancel. Somebody was selling a bunch of it early. Uh, Zhangji click. Nope. You, you were selling. We'll put the three factories we have constructing on it take four deliveries slowly building our economy up Austria declared war on Hungary crisis on the Danube Death of Bernhard Dernberg. Sad news arrived from Berlin today. Bernhard Dernberg, former head of the Imperial Colonial Office, has died. Bernhard served for only three years from 1907 to 1910, but he had an enormous influence on the development of the colony of German East Africa, which would eventually form the core of Middle Africa. It was his reforms that firmly established the first fully secular education system on the African continent, a legacy as we've tried with difficulty to spread throughout Middle Africa. A small ceremony was held in Dar es Salaam in his honor, with a street renamed Bernhard at Dunberg Strabe. Uh, Carl Ritter will speak of his triumphs. Rudolf Osmus will speak of his experience as cautious. This is no time. Now gain that stability. Get this Belgium steel trade. With Germany has. Uh, we've lost our steel trade. Uh, on it. So we're only at negative fifty percent construction speed, negative fifteen percent factory output. We're still slowly gaining some weekly stability. Well Portugal's ready.
five of you all to be built. But we'll put your equipment priority to low. Because I know we won't have enough support equipment for that. And hopefully... Our first shipments from the Wii will start arriving. There's the Belgian resources. Uh, let's see. Cash crop exports. Research bonuses plus 5%. Only at 77, so we did get our first shipment in from the league. Last was 56, yeah. Perfect. We could, for right now, just convert. Well, we won't convert. A military depot was raided. Bandits are no longer afraid of even the famous might of our Asakari. They have raided and stolen supplies from one of our military depots and escaped with the supplies back to their camp in Mozambique. Portugal must put an end to this. Gain base stability negative 6% and army experience negative 10%. Or negative 10, not percent. I'm telling you, Portugal, you're, you're messing with the bull and you're about to get the horns. Formation of the Moscow Accords. We've defeated them once. We'll do it again. Dispersed industry. Do construction so we can get our... I think it's what? Oil? Yeah, oil. I need a rush for right there. How many troops does Portugal have anyway? Six to 23 divisions, okay. It'd be nice if we did have a navy, but. We'll get these guys starting to be trained. Wow, Kingdom of Spain has been absolutely wrecked. Hungary is getting absolutely destroyed from all sides. Peru declared war on Ecuador. Mexico joined the Third International. Uh, Bulgaria has been pushed back a little bit, but they've also pushed through into Greece pretty heavily. It's not Romania. Romania. Inflation weaponry. Help with their debt. Portuguese questions. We should lodge a formal complaint against Portugal. The continuing existence of these bandits clamp is a clear threat to our colony. They cannot deal with a few bandits that are clearly not fit to be a colonial power. We will take this all the way to Berlin. Change popularity of paternal autocracy negative 5%. Change popularity of authoritarian democracy plus 5%. And German Empire gets the event Portuguese Middle African dispute. Let me go to war with them. Nicaragua declared war on Honduras. Foreign officer declares the matter resolved. The Portuguese have been forced to step down by the Berlin government. Looks like it was right to call to talk to them. Gain plus stability plus 4%. Uh, change popularity of paternal autocracy plus 5%. Change popularity of authoritarian democracy negative 5%. And removes border raids. Oh, does that mean I don't get my war? I think that means I don't get my war. Come on, Germany. That'd be all right. We 
get our cash crops done. Do some of our military focuses. Russia declared war on those small countries. There's cash crops. The research speed would be nice. But with the research, the second cultural comp. I'm going to end the episode here. On a sad note that we did not get to do our war. But I hope you all have enjoyed our first episode of Middle Africa. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.